This is Firefighter Keller, Gavin Keller on Rescue One. Gonna demonstrate putting on the new water gear that we have. The suit helps keep us warm, keeps our body heat inside, keeps from getting wet and cold, keeps contaminated water off of our bodies. This is him burping. He's getting all the air out of the suit. Otherwise, you'll be floating on the top the whole time. You can see how it's kind of skin tight on him now. He's gotten all the air out. There's a neck seal and wrist seal. Just like our structural gear, there's no exposed skin other than our faces. Bright colors are for identification and to be able to find each other in any kind of situation. Now he'll be ready to enter the water for anything we need. So Russell Cruz in the fire structural gear on the left still has to rush to put the gear on. Try to get it on in a minute so we can get on the truck and get out. Firefighter Keller on the right in the swim gear is just gonna have to take his time, get it on as quickly as he can the incidents usually are not in quite as a rush as the fires. Two different gears, both have different purposes. What we have here is a lanyard. It's attached to him. He can hook this up as a safety device or if he needs to go out and get somebody in the water. And what it's designed to do is he hooks it to something as a stationary object. And then if he gets hung up, it'll pull, stuck, and then he can let go. And a pulley and another carabiner. Use these for another attachment point, or if need be, uh, you could always set up like a mini two to one to get somebody back, uh, like say downstream. Uh, you could set up a mini. Uh, mechanical advantage to assist in getting the patient back to shore. Um, the whistle would be just for a location device. And the knife would be for uh, any type, if you got yourself hung up in a strainer or you know, rope or anything, you could cut your way out of that. So on the rescue truck, we have two pieces of equipment that are able to toss out to victims in the water. First one you see on ships and boats, this is uh, for a close grab. You tie a rope to it, just kind of toss it out to somewhere in the water. They can grab onto it and kind of support themselves. The second one is the rope bag that we throw, the throw bag, rope bags, people call it. And there's 50 foot of rope in here. So we take the handle, unclip it, hold the bag, and you're just going to toss it. 